Hello brothers and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to talk about the Imperial Fists. Yes, this video is going to be the most glorious video of the year because I'm going to be talking about the best chapter slash legion that the Emperor ever created. I always get asked this question when I'm doing streams and everything like that. Like, hey Varak, what attracts you to the Imperial Fist? Why are the Imperial Fists so cool? So I just thought, you know, I'd sit down and explain why I love them so much. Why these guys are the most badass space marines that have ever walked or perched, let's say, in the Emperor's glorious name. So let's jump in and let's get started. So let's begin with, of course, the glorious, glorious Primarch of the Imperial Fist, Mr. Rogel Dawn. Now, I personally think that Rogel Dawn is treated very, very unfairly in the community. This may be my fanboyness coming out, but of course, everyone always calls him, oh, he's just here to build wars, he's here to fortify. Of course, that is what we're generally made to do. The Imperial Fist are made to stand their ground. There's nothing more deadly than an Imperial Fist standing his ground. That is one thing to remember out of all of this. Now, Rogel Dawn, for me, is one of the top-rated Primarchs when it comes to battling other Primarchs. Technically, technically, you can go away, you can go away read all your wikis, research this all you want, Rogel Dawn is the only Primarch to have killed a traitor Primarch in the Horus Heresy. Now, if you want to compare it to like Sanguinius, Lehman Rust, Lionel Johnson, yep, these guys are awesome, the, 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 the beastly in battle, but have they killed a traitor Primarch in the Emperor's name? They have not, so Rogel Dawn is at the top of the tables when it comes to killing traitor Primarchs. And with his personality, yes, he can be a bit introverted when it comes to dealing with certain situations. I'm the first one to admit that. But don't forget, this guy has the weight of the entire galaxy upon his shoulders. Horus betrayed the Emperor. Horus betrayed the Imperium. De facto, Rogel Dawn became the next War Master, and it was his, basically, plans to defend humanity, to defend his father, the Emperor. So the, the, the Traitoris, Primarchs, and the Runus powers would not defeat them. And technically, we did win. Of course, the Emperor got entombed on the Golden Throne. That was a bit of a... You know, um, a bit of a side street and stuff. We can talk about that in further details in another video. But technically, the Chaos never won. The Imperium won. The traitors were pushed back into the Eye of Terror. And um, from then on, you know, it's more or less kept in there until now. Until, you know, the, the Great Rift and stuff like that. But Rogaldon's not here. I'm sure if Rogaldon was here, the Great Rift would have never happened. Uh, but that's another subject for another time. But yes, Rogaldon is an amazing Primarch. And that is why... Um, I love him. I just, love, I, I think, I think he's just, he's so badass that he will tell you straight. Like he won't dance around it and try to be diplomatic and stuff like that. He'll just stand there and say, no. And that, that is it. That's it. Morogo Don. That's, that is how awesome of a Primarch he is. He's, he'll just tell you to your face. No, you're stupid. That plan sucks. Let's do this plan. It's much, much better. And nine times out of ten, the plan is much, much better. Now, with the Imperial Fist, why are these guys so awesome? Where where do I begin? Where do I... Let's start with the members of the Imperial Some of the most renowned members of of the Imperial Fist. Let's go back to the Great Crusade and start there. So first thing, you have one of my favourites, Fafnir Ran, who basically became the founding of the Executioner chapter. Absolute badass. He was a part of the Assault Cadre and just twin axes and everything awesome like that. You had, of course, Glorious Boy Sigismund. Yes, before he was crusading in the Black Templars, he started off in the Imperial Fist. And even back then, in the Imperial Fist, he was probably the greatest Astartes around at that time you know you could probably argument about abaddon and stuff like that but sigismund is is an absolute boss I, I, I don't think anyone can even disagree that this guy once he was in battle you were just wanting to avoid him because he would either just kill you or you know just laugh at you because you're just so weak uh, we have alexis pollux alexis pollux is one of my favorite imperial fists he went on to form the crimson fist after the um horus heresy now the thing i love about um alexis pollux is that this guy right listen to this listen to this this guy led the retribution fleet to istvan to take on the traitors because uh, uh, Rogel Don learned about uh, what was going to happen, so he sent a big force of Imperial Fist to um, reinforce, you know, Vulcan and stuff like that. On on route, of course, there were warp storms, and um, one thing led to another. And basically, the Iron Warriors ambushed this fleet. Now, the Iron Warriors had a bigger fleet. They were led by a Primarch, and of course, they they initiated the ambush, so they had the advantage. Now, Alexit Pollux, being an absolute boss, being an absolute Imperial Fist, let's say completely turned Perturabo's plan upside down, reversed it, 
and he was about to win the battle. He was this this is a captain of the Imperial Fist taken on the Primarch of the Iron Warriors, the Mr. Salty Perturabo Primarch, and um more or less giving him a pounding. Now, technically the Imperial Fish did retreat from the battle because the message came through from Dawn to return to Terra. And because the Imperial Fists are so bloody loyal, they're like, no, we don't care if we're about to win. We're going to fall back because that is what Dawn has ordered and we always follow our father's orders now for me as well what attracts me to these guys is that they're uh, a very space combat oriented force now back in the great crusade and the horus heresy and stuff like that they did have the planet of inwit where they, they used to call their home not so much now in 40k they're more of a crusading well no not a crusading chapter they're more of a fleet based chapter i meant to say not crusading so they more or less you know go to planets they they, they do have recruitment planets but they don't have like um a a dedicated home world and stuff like Baal and stuff like that. It's more like Into the Stars and stuff. And one of the things I love about that is that I absolutely love Void Combat in Warhammer. I think it's just so ridiculously stupid in a way, but it makes it amazing because you have these like thousands of kilometer long ships and instead of like fighting you know like miles apart they always end up like six meters away from each other just giving each other just massive huge broadsides and boarding torpedoes going into each other and thunderhawk assaults and it, it, it's completely amazing this is this is what I, I just love space combat so much and the imperial fist are one of the strongest chapters in that area of conflict they're not they're not the strongest i would say i'd say the white scars are probably up there as being probably the strongest but we do have the biggest and baddest ship known in the galaxy and that is the phalanx now the phalanx is a huge 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 absolutely massive massive ship well is it is it really a ship or is it a should we call it a staff? I don't. I, I, it's it, it's massive. Let's just say it's a massive, massive fortress in the stars. It's it is to date the biggest the biggest ship the Imperium has um, to wage war against its enemies. And of course, the color of the Imperial fists is one of the best colors. Yellow. Yellow is an amazing color. I don't care what you say. Now, there's some people that go around and say, yeah, it's it's the color of cowards. It's the color of piss. It's it's, it's normally Iron Warrior fanboys who are just too scared to admit that. They are really deep down want to be Imperial Fist, but they're too scared to admit it because that means they would have to be the good guys for once in their life. Now, why are we yellow? Why are the Imperial Fist yellow? I'll tell you why we're yellow. A lot of people don't know this. This is a 100% known fact. It's not a known fact. Now, one of the <laughs> one of the reasons why we are yellow is it's, it gives the enemy a chance to fight against us because we're that good because we're that amazing when it comes to combat we make ourselves the brightest color possible so we actually have a decent fight on our hands there's no point in being like all black like you know um uh, uh the raven guard and sneaking in there and shooting and stuff like that we want the enemy to see us we're, we're like yeah we're over here come and fight us you guys you know we're actually giving you a chance to like do a bit of damage to us so you know it, it gives us a bit of incentive to um to fight you because at the end of the day if we if we did do this we'd just be a dull color and we'd be all boring so that is why we're a glorious yellow color and it just looks fabulous it absolutely looks fabulous of course bl uh, black and yellow are the best Best combinations fifth company for the win but yellow as a whole on imperial fist I, i'm just so attracted to it i just love that bright awesome color of course peyton it is a whole other subject in itself i'm just starting to learn the basics of that and stuff but um i i absolutely love the yellow i think i think the yellow suits these guys so much and i think it's it's just an awesome color now onto the subject of combat one of the main reasons i'm attracted to the imperial fist and one of the reasons why i think they're absolutely awesome is because the way they do their warfare and it's siege it's siege craft we are the masters of siege always fortifying 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 do not believe the hype from the iron warriors because they wished they were us when it came to this now because these guys fortify this is one of the main reasons i'm attracted to them because i absolutely love castles i love building and you know messing around and trying to like make things like impregnable and you know all that like who doesn't love lego and building like castles and stuff like that and the imperial fists are basically doing that they're doing legos but they're taking it to the next stage and making everything just completely amazing fortress mode guns sticking out everywhere traps everywhere you know if if, if you are attacking an imperial fist fort then you're not gonna have a good time because we are the masters of it and you will not breach our walls because 
we're just all up there shooting down. We're not shooting our bolters down and ripping you apart and everything like that. So that is that is what I love, absolutely love about the Imperial Fist. I, I love the crafting they they can do and like the sculpting of like these gigantic cast. It's, it's just amazing. It blows my mind and it's just something I really really like. And of course their personality is another thing as well. Their personality is actually very very like my personality. They are very stubborn. <laughs> I am a very stubborn person. Dawn lives. You'll never change my mind. Dawn lives. He's out there somewhere. He shall return very, very soon. And it's because of their stubbornness. I think it makes them so awesome. They're so stubborn that they will not give up a position. They're like, no, no, this this is our position. I don't care if we're about to be overrun and we're about to be numbed to death by Turians or anything like that. I am too stubborn to move. This is my ground, and it will remain my ground, and I will die here if I have to. That it's, they're just so awesome, you know. It's, it's not like the Ultramarines who go, okay, let's fall back and let's go back here and read a book, and then we can redeploy somewhere, you know, else, and you know, maybe hit the enemy there. The Imperial Fists are completely opposite for that. We're like, no, we're gonna die here because we've been ordered to, and we're too stubborn to take your orders, which may be better for us. No. We're staying here. I should have mentioned this before, but when it comes to, like, creating, like, warriors and stuff like that, I should have mentioned this, like, round about Sigismund and Pollux and stuff. I should have gone into more detail, but I'm, I'm here now anyway, so I'll just speak about it here. When it comes to the Imperial Fist, we have the best successors. We make the best successor chapters. You can argue until you're blue in the face. I'm going to disagree with you. Because we have people like the Black Templars. We have, like, the Crimson Fist. We have the Executioners, the so-called Sons of the Phoenix. Wait, what, what, what? Um, these chapters are... Look, right, first thing, let's just start with the Black Templars themselves. The Black Templars are just like Dawn's Retribution. They're like Dawn in full Crusader mode. Of course, they started with Sigismund, probably the greatest Astartes that ever lived. He was, like, the most renowned swordsman and stuff. And since then, they've just gone out and they've just led Crusades and they've just put death upon the enemies of mankind. The crusade never stopped for them. You had the um, Crimson Fist, of course, they had a little bit of a mishap where someone aimed a rock at them by mistake and stuff like that, but, you know, they're, they're all recovered now. It's, it's all okay. Still an amazing, amazing chapters. You've got the Executioners, which are personally one of my top tier favourite chapters. Yes, we had a little bit of a scrabble in the Badab Wars. There was, you know, we may chose the wrong side by mistake and stuff, but it, it, it was all made okay. We went on a penance crusade and we proved to the Imperium that we are loyal boys, we are loyal to Dawn, we are loyal to the Emperor, and we're back in the good graces of the Imperium and we're doing what we do best now, and that is leading from the front, taking heads, and shouting for Dawn and for the Emperor. Now, just to end it, what is the biggest attractive trait of the Imperial Fists? And it is, of course, what I hold utmost in my heart when I look at the Emperor and the Imperium, and that is loyalty. The Imperial Fists are the most loyal chapter slash legion out of all of the chapters slash legions that the Emperor made. Fight me on it. I will fight you if you disagree, because we are. We were so trusted that the Emperor brought us back with him to Terra to be his Praetorians. That is how much we meant to the Emperor of Mankind. If Rogel Dawn was Warmaster and Chaos tried to whisper in his ear like they did to Horus, Rogel Dawn would tell him to shove it right up where the sun doesn't shine, because that is how loyal Mr. Rogel Dawn is. He only sees the Emperor... He sees the Imperial Truth, the Imperial Dream, and that is all we are in it for. Everything else is just a lie and baloney. Get out the way, because our loyalty to the Imperium, to the Emperor, is the only thing that matters. All right, I'm going to call it there. I'm sure you guys have loved this video. Well, for those who are loyal and those who are for the gene seed of Rogue or Dawn, I'm sure you've loved it. Those Iron Warriors are probably all crying in the comment section saying C C T T C. But hey, it's okay, guys. One day, one day, maybe you'll you'll wake up and you'll admit it that man, I was I've been wrong all my life. I've I, I've I've lived I've I've lived a lie. Because I really want to be an Imperial Fist. Why did I do this? I need to go and say sorry to Valrak. But until that day's here, then I'm, you know, it, I'm, I'm not going to judge you. I'll just, I'll just keep checking my emails and stuff like that until you send the apology email. Right, that is me done for another video. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think and why you think the Imperial Fists are awesome in the comment section. And we, we can have a nice little chat about it down there. See you in a bit. Have a good one. And bye-bye.